Hello to Skylight's short introduction. You are watching this because you are either interested in cutting edge science or you are already working with single cell technologies and are interested in better ways to learn from your data. Single cell technologies allow researchers to study individual cells at a high resolution level, capturing their molecular and functional characteristics. These technologies have emerged as powerful tools for dissecting cellular heterogeneity, uncovering rare cell types, understanding molecular dynamics, and gaining insights into complex biological processes. The massive amount of data generated by single cell technologies has driven the development of computational tools to extract relevant insights. This tsunami of data motivated the establishment of Skylight as an ETH spin-off founded in 2017 on the basis of an AI algorithm that we call SkyVision, designed to extract clinically relevant information from, at that time, still rather exotic single-cell data. Our founders developed and decided to apply this algorithm to serve precision medicine by integrating and analyzing multi-omic single-cell data for the discovery of very specific and sensitive biosignatures. There are a few key characteristics that make SkyVision a perfect fit for this endeavor. I will start with some numbers that demonstrate the problem and inform precision medicine. 9050. 9050 refers on the one side to the fact that 90% of clinical trials fail and 50% of them fail because they lack clinical efficacy. On the other side, 90% of already approved drugs work only in maximum 50% of the patients. In any case, you don't wanna be at the position neither of the patient nor of the drug developer. These numbers do not demonstrate lack of efforts to solve the problem, but rather the very challenge to find the right patient for the right treatment. What you need are biomarkers that inform this decision. Now, what exists in the clinic in terms of biomarkers is a result of decades of R&D and consists of measurements of one or a few markers informing clinicians about some correlations. With the development of new drugs, clinicians are overwhelmed with the finding of the right treatment for the right patient because of the lack of sensitive and specific biomarkers. New technologies generating very rich data, such as next generation sequencing and multiomics, provide high resolution biological maps and enable researchers to explore the heterogeneity and complexity of tissues with unprecedented detail. The analysis of this data is still challenging and evolving. Sky Vision serves as a GPS through the maze of this very rich single cell data and extracts actionable and very sensitive and specific predictive signatures. Biomarkers serve multiple stages of the drug development journey. Discoveries from rich single cell data have significantly expanded our understanding of cellular biology and disease mechanisms and the response to therapeutic interventions. Starting with disease diagnosis and moving to more complex questions such as patient stratification or finding the right patient for, to respond to a developing uh, treatment, explaining its mode of action and monitoring its effects in the patients represent complex biological processes captured and explained by novel single cell technologies and Skylight's analytical approach. We have tailored an AI single cell discovery platform to leverage the advantages of novel technologies generating massive amounts of single cell data to explain complex biological processes. We apply Sky Vision to ensure an unbiased, innovative and integrative data analysis with a very high discovery success rate. We deliver translatable biomarker signatures related to complex processes such as mode of action of new drugs or prediction of therapy response. Here, I dare to become a little bit more technical and highlight differences between the conventional approach to single cell data analysis compared to Skylight's AI approach. For those who have already faced the challenge of single cell data analysis might have some idea about the necessity to reduce the complexity of the data by clustering cells and annotating known cell types or clusters based on similarity of gene expression patterns. In order to extract differences between the two datasets, you would start comparing gene expression within respective clusters. This approach requires prior knowledge in order to annotate and map the cell types and clusters. And by comparing clusters, you already lose the single cell resolution for which you generate the data in the first place. 
despite its great discovery potential, you might dilute your signature by irrelevant cells or lose it altogether if your signature would depend on cells from multiple clusters. In contrast, Skylight's supervised representation learning method identifies patterns and classifies cells without prior information on cell clusters and cell types and can discover biological signals from previously unknown or rare cells that are associated with a given condition. There are some key features I would like to highlight here that makes Skylight's analytical approach unique. Considering the high complexity of multi-omic single cell data, the automated pre-processing pipeline and the integrated AI algorithm of SkyVision offer an unprecedented speed in extracting differences from data sets, delivering results within a few weeks and combined with the richness of, and comprehensiveness of high throughput single cell data, it reaches an unmatched discovery success rate. Upon a benchmarking experiment, our data scientists demonstrated the robustness and reliability of its discoveries when compared to other single cell analysis tools. One very important unique feature, thanks to the shallowness of the neural network, is its explainability. SkyVision's discoveries do not restrict themselves to a trained AI model. Next to predicting the condition of a new samples or patients, we can go back to the model and extract a list of the cellular and molecular characteristics responsible for the prediction. And this list becomes the basis of a clinical assay prototype. This feature makes the algorithm a perfect fit for the discovery of clinically relevant biomarkers. Now, all of these features sound really nice, but if you, want, if you are to believe me, I have to show you some numbers behind them. I'll put the speed in our discovery approach in perspective of the conventional single cell analysis approach. When you generate single cell data in order to dissect the differences between two groups of samples, you would spend time in pre-processing the data, identifying a certain amount of clusters that make sense for your data, annotating these clusters and start comparing respective clusters to find differences between them. If the data hides differences detectable on a cluster level and you look at the right clusters, you'll find these differences and start describing them. This process is streamlined, takes about several months and depends on your prior knowledge about your data. Sky Vision, on the other hand, needs one month to pre-process the data and feed all cells into the AI algorithm without any clustering and annotation needed and finds actionable differences. Only if and when it finds differences between the data sets, you can take decision to expand your discovery into the desired direction. Let me focus on the discovery potential of SkyVision. We use publicly available data set to demonstrate the superiority of our approach versus the current standard of single cell RNA sequencing data analysis, particularly for the discovery of clinically relevant biomarkers. What you see here is a single cell RNA-seq data from 24 CAR T cell infusion products used to treat lymphoma patients. A common severe side effect of this treatment is the development of neurotoxicities. By comparing clusters of patients that develop high versus low grade neurotoxicities, the authors identified a rare cell population they call ICAN associated cells or IACs, which was enriched in high grade toxicity patients. However, the authors state that they failed to find any significant differences between the CD4 and CD8 T cell compartments of these patients. If you would like to use this cell population to predict the development of high-grade toxicities in the treated patients, you will have 58% sensitivity. We fed uh, the single cell RNA sequencing data together with the neurotoxicity endpoint information. And by using representation learning, SkyVision learned from each cell separately which profile corresponds to patients that would develop high or low grade toxicity. It identified the same population of IACs as described by the authors, but in addition, it included cells from the CD4 and CD8 compartment, which together comprised a more complex signature, which was able to stratify high versus low grade toxicity patients with 100% accuracy. This example highlights the advantage of keeping the single cell resolution throughout the analysis and the sensitivity of sky vision to find differences in two data sets and particularly single cells and complex signatures. 
To translate this into a clinically relevant setting, if Skylight's approach would have been applied in the original R&D setting, these patients would have been identified prior to treatment to, for better risk assessment. Skylight's analysis would also have contributed to de-risking the clinical trial and allowed for a more successful outcome. Another claim I would like to support with some numbers here is the reliability and robustness of the discoveries by SkyVision. This experiment here shows the results of a benchmarking study our data scientists performed to compare SkyVision against other public competing algorithms. We used a large public site of dataset consisting of PBMC samples from 472 patients split into nine separate clinical cohorts. For each individual, the CMV infection status was known. Our goal was to train a model that could predict the CMV status of individuals from a held out cohort. The box plots you see on the right show the accuracy of predictions from models trained on 10 different cross-validation splits of the data, holding out a different cohort each time. As you can see, SkyVision outperformed all tested methods with both higher overall AUC, indicating better accuracy, and a lower variation between cross-validation splits, indicating greater robustness of the variability in the input data. We conclude that SkyVision is both highly accurate and robust to potential batch effects introduced during the sample collection and processing steps, which may vary across studies. If you would like to learn more about this experiment, you can read the detailed white paper linked on our website. Here, it might be important to mention that thanks to the richness of single cell data and some data augmentation steps, SkyVision can learn and discover robust differences from as few as 10 to 15 patients per cohort, which is a rather unique feature for an AI-based approach. One more claim of SkyVision is the translatability of its discoveries into clinical essays. Here I would like to explain on the basis of our first project using single-cell proteomics data, or CITOF, to identify biomarker signatures from the differential diagnosis for the differential diagnosis of a rare skin, skin cancer, cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, or CTCL, versus atopic dermatitis. We started the study by recruiting 20 CTCL patients, 20 atopic dermatitis patients, and 20 healthy donors, and generated single cell proteomic data consisting of 36 protein markers from the PBMCs of these patients and donors. Our data scientists split the data of the initial discovery cohort into 70% for training and 30% for the development data set, and identified cells and protein signatures allowing highly specific and sensitive detection of CTCL. This discovery was validated on a separate cohort of 33 patients and was able to diagnose CTCL patients with an AUC of 0.98. And as one of SkyVision's unique features, it is not operating as a black box. We could use its learning features to simplify the complex single cell protein signature to translate it into a simpler flow cytometry diagnostic assay. We selected a minimal set of informative markers and designed a nine marker flow cytometry assay prototype achieving over 95% sensitivity, which largely outperformed existing molecular diagnostic assays for CTCL. We are currently developing an assay based on a discovery from single cell RNA sequencing data translated into a targeted qPCR assay. Taken together, Skylight offers an end-to-end AI-powered biomarker discovery platform with some unique features that make it a perfect tool to extract actionable insights from complex multi-omic single cell data to explain complex biological processes and deliver disease insights, to enable high impact scientific discoveries, and to develop assay prototypes for clinically relevant biomarkers. We collaborate with biotech and pharma partners in the form of service projects, licensing, or co-development partnerships. Here, I would like to thank you very much for your passion for cutting edge science. I would love to continue talking about Skylight and advanced science that we do. So if you would like to learn more, please contact us.